Welcome back to Automotive Territory. Just like we promised, this is the second volume of our mini-series about all new electric cars that were unveiled throughout the latest international auto shows and online presentations around the globe. Get ready to learn about the breaking news within this year mission world and explore a new portion of striking EV concepts and exciting production vehicles of tomorrow. As always, we'll make sure to mention detailed information about technical specifications, prices and production dates. So, subscribe to the channel and join the electric revolution. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes EQG Just as it was promised to Arnold Schwarzenegger back in 2018 by the then-chairman of Daimler, the iconic Gelandwagen becomes a part of the Mercedes electrification initiative. The concept EQG rides on 22-inch wheels, gets rid of the front grille in favor of a backlit LED panel with a large logo, plus there is an LED light strip on the roof that mimics high beams. The usual spare wheel in the back is replaced with a utility box to neatly store recharge cables. The electric G-Class undoubtedly will retain its superior four-wheel drive off-roading capability with the help of four independent motors, a redesigned rear axle and a new two-speed gearbox. Its battery shall support 400 miles of range and 200 kW recharging. For now, the boxy giant keeps the usual MPUX infotainment. Though at the point of the production model release, we should expect a 56-inch hyperscreen. Genesis GV60 This crossover finalizes the Hyundai Motor Group trio of vehicles utilizing the new eGMP electric platform. Just like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, the CUV gets a striking design that follows the Genesis athletic elegance identity. It is reflected in the beak-inspired crest grille with two lines headlamps, Coupe SUV profile, fixed-wing rear spoiler, flush door handles, and wheel designs up to 21 inches. In case of the Genesis GV60, the eGMP is equipped with a 77 kWh battery. It can have single rear or dual-motor all-wheel drive configuration, which translates to the max range of 280 miles and 483 HP of peak output. The interior sports an intriguing mix of plant-based leather, alcantara and fabrics, which were derived from recycled PET bottles and fishnets. Besides a large dual-screen cockpit, the cabin leaves a lasting impression with a crystal sphere that does double duty as a shift-by-wire selector and vehicle's mode lights. Porsche Mission R Though labeled by Porsche as a concept, the Mission R is actually a fully functional prototype that will make its racing debut sometime in 2025. Similar in size to the 718 Cayman, the Track Beast has an integrated carbon fiber composite cage, active aerodynamic system, and an adjustable rear wing. Its entire body is made from natural fiber reinforced plastic. Same material is used inside the car, paired with the 3D printed foam elements. The power comes from a dual motor all wheel drive system fed by an 80 kWh battery with 900 volt architecture. In the qualifying mode, the setup peaks at 1088 horses, while in racing, it can produce 681 HP consistently. Porsche promises that the Mission R can race for 45 minutes takes 2.5 seconds to reach 62 mph, tops out at 186 miles per hour, and requires no more than 15 minutes to recharge the battery from 5 to 80 percent. You cannot sit on the sidelines of the electric revolution, so at least smash the like button to support the cause. It's that simple. Let's proceed. Smart concept number one. Two decades ago, Smart was the pioneer of urban mobility and sustainable lifestyle. But in the recent years, the brand has been really struggling to keep up with this reputation. In 2019, the brand's parent company Daimler established a new partnership with the Chinese Geely that is focused on creating a future generation of Smarts with all-electric drivetrains. This year, the joint venture premiered their concept number one, which presents the upcoming production model claimed to debut in China in early 2023. Based on Geely's C platform, the all-new Smart is no longer a microcar, but rather a direct rival to the Mini Countryman with its 108 inches wheelbase. 
It features 21-inch wheels, thin LED light bars at the front and rear, concealed door handles, a panoramic glass roof, and frameless doors. The most intriguing feature on the inside is the centrally positioned 12.8-inch touchscreen that doubles as a control element. At this point, the powertrain details remain undisclosed. Hispano Suiza Boulon The revival of the iconic pre-World War II automotive brand began in 2019, when the drug descendant of the Hispano Suiza founder Damien Mateo presented to the world the 14-unit exclusive Carmen supercar. At the 2020 Virtual Geneva Auto Show, the company revealed a more unique 5-unit version of the model, labeled Boulon. Now, the car is ready for deliveries, and the visitors of the 2021 Munich IA Mobility even got to see it in the flesh. Built on the carbon fiber monocoque from Carmen, it is equipped with the revised suspension components, a new carbon fiber roof, and black and copper exterior. The car is propelled by four electric motors and an 80 kWh battery that produces 1,114 horses and 1,180 pound-feet of peak torque. Being 132 pounds lighter than the first Carmen, it can do 0 to 60 sprints in 2.6 seconds and reaches a maximum speed of 180 miles per hour. DS4 La Premiere The market launch of the all new DS4 hatchback starts with a limited edition model labeled La Premiere. Positioned to top of the range, it has unique exterior design and offers both the plug in hybrid or the pure tech gasoline drivetrains each rated for 225 horses. You can recognize the La Premiere by its exclusive lacquered grey or pearl crystal paint with contrasting black roof, special badging, black grille, and either 19 or 20 inch alloy wheels. The car also gets standard DS Active Scan suspension with adaptive dampers, matrix LED headlights, and level 2 autonomy driver assist. Inside, the seats are wrapped in Nappa leather and are equipped with heating, cooling, and massage. The dashboard features Ashwood trim, while the technology package includes a digital instrument cluster, an extended head-up display, and a DS Smart Touch infotainment. Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4MATIC Plus The first production EV from the AMG brand sits atop of the EQS hierarchy and until Mercedes decides to reveal the AMG 63 model is the most powerful member of the family. The Super Saloon differs from the regular EQS by an exclusive black panel grille with vertical struts as well as a larger rear spoiler and unique 21 or 22-inch alloy wheels. On the mechanical front, the AMG Fight EQS gets an adaptive electronically controlled air suspension, standard rear axle steering and high-performance brakes with the option of upgrading to AMG carbon ceramic units. Depending on the configuration and wheel size, up to 360 miles of range is possible, while the 200 kW DC charging allows to reduce the battery for another 180 miles in just 15 minutes. As standard, two electric motors deliver 657 horsepower. But the buyers of the optional AMG Dynamic Plus package will have a boost to 761 ponies and 752 pound feet of torque. Cupra Tavascan Extreme E Set's performance branch continues to generate interest towards its upcoming electric crossover. First previewed as a Tavascan concept, the moniker is being attached to the Cupra Extreme E competition vehicle for the 2022 racing season. The build was produced in cooperation with Apt Sportsline and takes a holistic approach to the use of natural materials. This implies the infusion of flex fibers into the body structure instead of carbon fiber. Moreover, Cooper introduces 3D printed components that can be produced from scratch in just 6 hours. The Cooper Tavascan Extreme E has a 536 horsepower twin motor drivetrain that is juiced with a 54 kWh battery. This combo comes from Williams Advanced Engineering and ensures 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. Renault 5 Revealed in early 2021, the Renault 5 prototype makes an appearance in Munich and brings us the news that it will be realized as a production model sometime next year. 
The Super Mini is expected to retain the retro looks of the R5 GT, but with modern styling cues. There are boxy wheel arches, a red stripe along the window line, and a noticeable air intake on the bonnet that hides a charging port flap. The most distinctive design feature is the absence of a conventional grill. Instead, the company used a backlit Renault name spelled out across the front bumper. The interior details are scarce, but several photos let us distinguish bucket seats with square cushion quilting and an interesting lighting system surrounding the headdress. BMW iX3 An electric version of BMW's X3 compact crossover sits in the company's Claire modular architecture and debuts the brand's fifth-generation scalable drivetrain technology. It is much more compact than the old system, the battery is more energy-dense, plus it reduces the use of rare-earth materials. For 2022, the X3 gets only one configuration. It features a single electric motor that sends 286 horses and 295 pound-feet to the rear wheels, and comes paired with an 80 kWh battery pack. The expected range reaches 255 miles, and the car gets access to charging at 150 kW. As standard, the crossover offers a premium interior with 18 cubic feet of boot space, 3-zone climate control, and a panoramic roof. The cabin houses a 12.3-inch instrument cluster and an infotainment of the same size. Plus, the higher impressive trim adds a head-up display and a Harman Kardon audio system. Subaru Solterra In 2019, Subaru and Toyota expanded the scope of their cooperation beyond the co-platform sports cars. These two Japanese brands joined forces in developing a shared EV architecture that will be underpinning tens of new vehicles across all classes by 2025. Judging by the teaser images, the Subaru Solterra closely mimics Toyota's PZ4X, so we should expect a RAV4-sized all-wheel drive electric crossover. From Latin, its name is translated as Sun and Earth. But in reality, this vehicle will be equipped like a spaceship with tons of sensors replacing the front grille, a futuristic cockpit, and an adaptive steer-by-wire grip. Judging by the number of electric news that keep popping up every single day, this video is not the last one in our digest. So make sure to subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming episodes. Mention your favorite new electric cars in the comment section and support the electric revolution by smashing the like button. As always, more EV content is on the screen. May the torque be with you!